Hello students. Today we shall continue with the next topic in polymer chemistry. In the last class we had studied regarding the different types of molecular weight of uh, molecular weight of polymers. And in today's class we shall go ahead with working out some of the numerical problems based on molecular weight of polymers. Let us consider the first example that is the number average molecular weight. This was a problem which had appeared in 2018. The problem is if equal number of molecules with M1 is equal to 10,000 and M2 is equal to 50,000 are mixed. We are asked to calculate the number average molecular weight and we know the formula for the number average molecular weight is given as the weight of all the polymers by the total number of molecules. The weight of the polymer molecules is given as summation Ni Mi by summation Ni. If I consider as equal number of molecules are taken, if I consider x molecules are taken, then I can write this as, I can write down this as x into 10,000 plus x into 50,000 by total number of molecules because equal number of molecules are taken I am going to write down this as x plus x. So on simplification on simplification I will be getting this as x into 10,000 plus 50,000 by 2x. When I just go on to substitute it substitute it I will be getting this as x into 60,000 by 2x and I can now cancel x and x. When I cancel, I substitute it, I will be getting this as 60,000 by 2 and that is going to be 30,000. Next problem when we are going to consider is going to be as the number average molecular weight of polystyrene is given as 10 to the power of 5 gram per mole. We are asked to calculate the number average degree of polymerization. We are asked to calculate the number average degree of polymerization and the molecular weight of styrene is given as 104. The students had appeared in 2016 and 17 continuously in Gulbarga University, Kalburgi. So, I know the relationship between the number average molecular weight monomer of the polymer and the uh, uh, number average degree of polymerization as Mn is equal to dPn into M. Making certain rearrangements, the equation is going to be dPn is equal to Mn by M. And I have given, it has been given thus, Mn is equal to 10 to the power of 5 gram per mole and M which is the monomer of styrene the weight is given as 104 and on substituting the expression into the expression this 10 raised to 5 I am going to write it as 1000 into 1000 I am going to write it as 1000 into 1000 into 10 raised to 2 divided by 104 and I will be getting the expression as 9.61 into 10 raised to 2 gram per more. Let me consider another uh, example. Uh, this is mainly based on number average uh, molecular weight and weight average molecular weight as well. The problem is calculate the number average molecular weight of a polymer if equal masses of polymers with molecular weight 10,000 and 50,000 are mixed. So here again we are having equal number of molecules of masses 10,000 and 50,000 are mixed. If you just recollect uh, the same problem had we had considered even in the last slide, last slide, but there only number average molecular weight was asked, but now even weight average molecular weight. So, as uh, equal number of molecules are going to be taken, if I consider x to be as, x to be as the molecules taken and same x number of another polymer is also taken. So, when I substitute it x into 10,000 plus x into 50,000 by x 
plus 2x. I will be getting this as x into 10,000 plus 50,000 by 2x. And I am just going to cancel this x and x. It comes to be as 30,000. So, this is the number average molecular weight. Coming to the weight average molecular weight and the formula for weight average molecular weight weight average molecular weight is given as summation I Ni Mi square by summation Ni Mi. Here the formula is going to be summation Ni Mi square divided by summation Ni Mi. Because this is going to be the I am going to consider the weight average one. So, I substitute this Mi is going to be taken as square. This 10,000, I am going to write it as 10 to the power of 4. I am writing this as 10 to the power of 4. So, x into 10 to the power of 4 whole square plus x into the 50,000. I am writing the same 50,000 as 5 into 10 to the power of 4 whole square. It comes to be s. It comes to be s. x into 10 to the power of 8 plus x into 25. 5 square separately I am taking. So, it will become 25 into 10 to the power of 8. Now, what did I do? I am going to take x into 10 to the power of 8 common. Then, I will be having it as 1 plus 25 divided by 60,000 into x. What will I be getting now is because x is going to be common, I am going to strike off this x and this x. When I just go on to divide 26 by 6, I will be getting it as 4.33. And when I divide 10 to the power of 8 divided by 10 to the power of 4, I will be getting it as what? 10 8 minus 4. I will be getting 10 to the power of 8 minus 4 and that is 10 to the power of 4. So, this is how I determine what weight average molecular weight. Next is another problem. Another problem let us consider and here the problem is going to be in a polymer sample there are 50 more there are 50 molecular weight with 250 and with 250 and 150 molecules of molecular weight 150 molecules of molecular weight to 425. In this uh, numerical, it is stated that in a polymer sample, there are 50 molecular of molecular weight 50 and 150 molecules of molecular weight 425. This had appeared in 2016 and as I know, number average molecular weight is given as the weight by the total number of moles have taken, total number of molecules I have taken. So, students here I am taking 50 number of molecules with 250 plus 150 into 4, 425 because I am taking 150 molecules which having molecular weight 425 and divided by total number of molecules is going to be 200 and this 200 I will be getting it as how 50 plus 150, 50 plus 150 that comes to be as 200. So, when I just go on to substitute it, substitute these values, I will be getting the molecular weight, the number average molecular weight is going to be given as 381.25. Consider another example which wherein it states that in a polymer, there are 150 molecules of molecular weight, 150 units and 250 molecules of molecular weight 1000 units. We are asked to calculate the number average molecular weight that is this problem or numerical had appeared in 2017. Again I know the formula for this is given as number average molecular weight is equal to weight by total number of molecules and weight is given as Ni Mi by summation Ni. Since I am taking 150 molecules with molecular weight 150, I am multiplying 150 into 150 and I am taking what? 250 molecules with molecular weight 
thousand units. So it will be two fifty into thousand divided by this four hundred. How I am going to get it? Because it is going to be one fifty plus two fifty. It comes to be as four hundred. When I substitute it, I'll be getting the value as four eighty one point two five. Coming to another example, this is based on degree of polymerization. Calculate the weight average molecular weight of polypropylene having degree of polymerization. We are asked to calculate what weight average molecular weight of polypropylene having degree of polymerization is given as twenty thousand and molecular weight of this pro, uh, molecular weight of propylene is given as forty two. Forty-two. So, the uh, molecular weight of this propylene is forty-two. We are asked to calculate what the weight average molecular weight and weight average molecular weight is uh, related to degree of polymerization by this expression. So, degree of polymerization is given as twenty thousand, and uh, the monomer unit weight is given as forty-two. Forty-two, and when I just gone to Substitute it. I'll be getting it as eight lakh forty thousand. So these are some of the numericals which we have worked out in today's class. I'll be giving assignment in for you all and try to work out this.